Uh-oh. Hey, sir. The Gup X is sinking into the mud. We need your help now. On my way, Captain. <laughs> 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 Right, Peso. Let's hope that cup of yours can take the strain. Okay, Tunip. Full reverse power. has fallen into the trench. I need you to go after him, fast. Aye, aye, Captain. Everyone else, some of the sea pigs have followed the Gup X into the trench. We need to rescue them, too. Got it, Captain. of Tunip and the Glider. Fascinating. That's a type of whale called an orca. Look, there's another. And another. And another. Remarkable. We've attracted an entire pod. What's a pod, Professor? It's a group of orcas, Peso. The pod helps each other through thick and thin, rather like the octonauts. We've got to bump him back. Let's talk before we bump, Quasi. <clears throat> Greetings, orca friends. Please, do not bump our ship. <laughs> That's enough. Everyone back. I'm terribly sorry. Is your ship all right? Yes, thank you. Is his head all right? Oh, that one's hard-headed. He bumps first and asks questions later. Very brave, though. Hmm, sounds like someone I know. We're curious about your ship. We heard it make an interesting sound. Oh, you mean the Octo Alert? No, more like this. 
<laughs> oh, um, that, that was me. I was having trouble on my accordion. We thought it sounded quite lovely. Oh, thank you. Octonauts, who wants to go out and meet our new friends? <laughs> Want to race? Ah! Oh. Okay! <laughs> hey! You didn't say go! Quasi, Peso, activate X-ray viewers! Aye, aye, Captain. The sardines. Let's go. And now move in closer so we can look for Quasi's key. They're splitting up. You two follow that group, I'll follow the other. Aye, aye, Captain. We have to hurry. That sardine needs our help. None of my sardines has the key, which means that one of yours does. Quasi and I are still chasing them, Captain. Quasi, are you? Quasi? Quasi to Captain Barnacles. Do you read me? Peso, are you there? I've got to get me gut back in the water fast. <laughs> 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 Hold on, there's that humpback whale. Ahoy, Mitch! Can you hear me? Oh, maybe if I send that signal. Oh, oh, oh. Whoa, sounds like somebody needs help. Oh, you really do need to watch where you're going. Yeah, yeah, but right now, I need to get my cup off this iceberg. Okay, I'll tip the iceberg over for you. Look, too big for me to tip over by myself. Yeah. But it won't be too big for me and a couple of friends. I'll send out a signal. Yo, Mitch. You called? Hey guys, I need some help tipping over this iceberg. Let's do it. Always enjoy a little iceberg tipping. Hold on up there. Ready, guys? One. A little more. Two. Sardines. Here we are, the octopod. Pinto! Peso! Captain Barnacles and my fellow octonauts, this is my little brother Pinto. Welcome aboard, Pinto. Thanks. This is Professor Inkling, <laughs> Tunip, and Tweak. Hi. Was your trip okay? It was the best ride ever. Quasi taught me how to talk like a pirate. Aye, matey. Shiver me flippers. <laughs> this is for you, me hearty. Welcome aboard the Octopod. <sighs> Do I look like a real pirate? Yow! Yow! I'm ready for action. <clears throat> 
And this is Dashy and Shellington. Hello. It was great to meet you, Pinto. We'll see you when we get back. Are they taking the gut E on a real mission right now? Yes, they're going out to study baby sea snails. Baby sea snails can be hard to find because they're so tiny. That's why I have my magnifying glass. Tweak, open the octa hatch. Aye, aye, Cap. <gasps> I want to go on a mission too. Let me show you around the octopod first. Quasi told me that the life of an octonaut is really exciting. Oh, it is. As a medic, I... Do you search for sea monsters like Quasi? Uh, well, here, let me show you what I do. I... And Quasi says that an octonaut has to be prepared for anything to happen. That's true. You want to try doing something that I do? I'm ready for anything. All right, then. Here's a real challenge. Bandaging. We'll practice a combination bandage. A flipper sling and a rib wrap. Now you try it. I want to learn how to be an octonaut, not a medic. But I'm an octonaut and a medic. I mean a real octonaut, like Quasi. Ready for action. Oh, I have to be ready for action too, you know, in case someone gets hurt. Quasi! Wait! Is the ship under attack? No, but it is time for lunch. Here you go, matey. Ha-ha! <laughs> <laughs> Last one there be a rotten fish egg. <laughs> <laughs> oh. The Octo Alert. Octonauts to the HQ. <laughs> I see what you mean. Captain. The coral reef's been destroyed, and these fishies need a new place to live. We have to do something. Agreed. Dashy, sound the Octo Alert. Octonauts, to the launch bay. Octonauts, the reef dwellers need our help. Their home was destroyed by the hurricane, and now they have no shelter or protection. Maybe we could move all the fish to another reef. There may not be enough time to move them before the second part of the hurricane hits. Second part? A hurricane starts with strong winds and waves that stir up the ocean. Then there's calm like it is now. But that's because we're in the quiet centre of the storm, known as the eye. After the eye passes, it's followed by winds and waves even stronger than the first ones. But the fishies will never survive that without a reef. Hmm. What if we build them a new reef? Ah, you're talking about making an artificial reef, Captain. But an artificial reef? An artificial reef can be made out of anything. A sunken ship or even an old train carriage. Algae, sponges, coral and plants attach themselves to it. And that attracts fish who make it their home. But what could we use to make an artificial reef? Well... The truth is that the Gup F isn't much of a Gup anymore. <laughs> but I reckon it'd make a great artificial reef. Super, super! Great idea, Tweak. But we'll have to work fast. The first step. We should cover the Gup F with algae and coral, Captain. Using lots of sticky limpet glue. Octonauts, let's do this! <laughs> Much better. Well, what do you think? Oh, it has plenty of places for me to blend in. And plenty of hiding places for the rest of us. I say, let's move in. Oh, oh, hold on, everybody. Don't touch anything yet. The sticky limpet glue still needs time to dry. Captain, the second half of the storm is coming in quicker than we thought. And it's going to be big. Oh, the cap, the glue hasn't hardened. 
everything we've put on will get washed away. Oh, no. Oh, if you get washed away. I'm scared. Oh, no, it's a tragedy. This is a disaster. Don't worry, me hearties. We Octonauts always have a backup plan. Octonauts, our mission is to find out if there's any truth to Quasi's old map. I'd like to photograph that golden jar. I wonder if it's still there. If we can find the shipwreck, Dashy, then we can look for the golden jar. And the sea monster! Dashy, Peso, you'll come along with Quasi and me. Okie dokie, Cap. Ow. We're ready to test the grabber. Activating grabber. Mm. Oh. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> Ah, got it. This will help pick things up from the shipwreck. Thanks, Tweak. And it's a perfect monster grabber. Monster grabber? Don't worry, Peso. Right, let's go. Tweak, open the octahatch. Got it, Cap. <laughs> Archway up ahead. Check. Go under it and to the left. We're coming up on some rocks, Quasi. Which way now? Um, go around the biggest rock and to the right. No, no, the left. We should be getting close now. Closer. Closer. Up ahead, I think I see the shipwreck. Ah, it's just some rocks. Quasi, we found your shipwreck. Oh, protect us from the sea monster, Captain. Dashy, Peso, we'll look for that golden jar. Yeah! Uh! Ready or not, here I come! <gasps> if I were a sea monster, where would I hide? He's got eight heads, so he must be pretty clever. Looks like a good hiding place. <laughs> 